this soft shoulder strap butterfly top is one of the easiest thing you can make so do not be in a hurry watch till the end because i share some tips that can help you to recreate it in form of a long gown so let's go right into making it so i'll begin this by marking out my neckline remember that it's going to be falling completely off of the shoulder so i'm using 11 for my own the neck width I'm using 11 then I'm going to be deepening it by 2 inches so on this part I'm just going to take out 9 inches I'll mark 9 inches on this part and then I'll further mark 9 inches just to confirm the 9 inches measurement so from this 9 inches this is where this my hand is going to be passing through which is going to act as the sleeve so on that point I'm going to mark 12 inches but at the cost of making this this style I discovered that that 12 inches was very big it was way bigger than what I intended so I reduced it to 10 inches so yeah, I'm just going to make a straight line but if you want to have something a little bit fitted you want it to have a little bit of shape you can just mark your half cut so for me mine is 16 the half cut so if i want it to be a little fitted somewhere i'll just mark 16 as my half cut then whatever my bust measurement is i'm going to take out two out of it and then i'm going to mark it like this so i'll just mark it like this you can see that it has a little bit of shape at the point where my half cut stops so if i'm making the stitch if i'm sewing it i'm going to be taking out just 11 inches So this is one side out so i'll just spread it this way so i'm going to use bias to turn the neck i'm going to cut a piece of this fabric to turn it so this is the strap i'm going to be using for the neck side so this is approximately two inches so after stitching i'm going to have one and a half this is how wide it's going to be and then the length is 10 inches so i'm using 10 inches for the length so I'm going to stitch on this part and then I'll turn it over and so I would already gone ahead to dress the neck this is it I didn't use a bias I cut a piece of this fabric and I used it to dress the neck so right there I made a mark indicating the midpoint of this shirt of this top yeah that's the midpoint so from that midpoint I'm going to place three and a half on that midpoint that I'm using as the middle of this shirt I'm going to take the then I'm going to also extend three and a half from the other half of the front part this way. So this three and a half is going to be how wide the strap is going to be on my neck. So from that point, I'm just going to attach the strap this way. What I have inside of it is like half of an inch. So I'll just spin it down. Then I'll do the same thing for the second part that I marked. So you can see just half of an inch inwards. So the new neck width that these straps that the both straps are portraying right now is 7 inches. If you think it's small for you, you can use 8 inches, you can use it and have, but be careful so that it doesn't become so wide. And then I'll be repeating the same process. I'll place three and a half from the mid point, from the mid point. Three and a half from the mid point. Same thing on the second side. So I'm going to be top stitching on each of the strap, top stitch on this part as well, top stitch here. So that'll be all for the strap. So once I'm done attaching the strap to the neck, I am going to come to the sewing machine and then I'm going to measure from the shoulder like this. Then I'll be marking nine inches. Then remember that we are taking out 11, but at the cost of making this, I also found out that the 11 I took out was too small and so the body of the cloth became so big somehow so I just had to reduce it to 14 so instead of 11 I took out 14 so it became a little bit fitted on my body so that is how I enjoyed it so that was what I did so I'm just going to make a mark from here down to the last part and then I'll repeat the same thing on this other side so that's the line I'm going to be sewing on 
so I am done this cloth is finished as you can see the neck is dressed the straps have been attached so if you feel like this neck here right now is not as wide as you want it you can make it four and a half you can make it four but I don't want it so wide so I made mine three and a half I've also gone ahead to fold the edges everywhere is neatly dressed and neatly sewn so with this we've come to the end of this tutorial you can see that this is very easy to make so let me know what you think in the comments below let me know your thoughts have you tried to make something like this before is it something you're interested in and would you be trying it out so leave your thoughts below and if you're here to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel turn the bell icon so you're notified every time i upload a new video and don't forget to like my video so thank you for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video and at the top right side of your screen i'm going to be leaving a link to another video that you will like see you in my next video and bye